Hi, Bryson. A couple of things. First, uh, can you walk us through the interception which you saw, and, and also just in general, uh, how surprised are you that they were able to kind of run the ball the way they did? Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing. Um, you know, interception just worked right the quarterback side and made a play, but it didn't matter in the day. We just didn't execute. I mean, do 365 uh, days preparing for this game, you know, people from Ohio, you know, this is everything, you know. Get wrong, that's gonna, gonna, you know, leave a really bad taste in our mouth, and um, we just have to learn from it. It's gonna motivate me. And I know it's gonna motivate this team that much more. I mean, a thousand times more in the offseason. You know, you know, and the team's really down right now, and no one's harder on ourselves than us. And we just gotta learn from this. And you know, we have to stop the run. That's the goal, especially on away games in the Big Ten. Gotta stop the run. Because so everyone's ball in this like that, it's, you know, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Go over here to the front row right, Tino Bovenzi, Spectrum One. This game obviously didn't go as you planned, but um, you know what kind of learning lessons can you take from this? Obviously, this being one of the first times that you you know played in this game. I mean, yeah, there's a lot to learn from it. Gotta go back, watch the film, really know where we messed up, where things went wrong. Um, just disappointing. You know, I think the biggest thing to take away from this is how motivated I know I'll be this off season. You know. In the next days, you know, I'm, I'm already ready to get on this tape, see where we weren't wrong, get these uh, mistakes corrected, and like I said, just, just anger, you know, just anger. Uh, right next door, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Right, so, I mean, I know there was some emotions at halftime in the tunnel. I know there was a little break on the field. Do you feel like you guys lost your composure at all there in that second half? I mean, we just got to be disciplined, you know, part of the Ohio State program, you know, the off season, during the season, we take pride in being disciplined, you know. You never let our emotions get the best of us. It's great to play with emotion. You know, like they say, you never let emotion play with you. Felt a few times, got to get the better of us, which is, again, disappointing considering me knowing what kind of guys we have on this team um, and how much we work with this for that aspect of it. Disappointing. Over here to the left, Austin Ward, 11 Warriors. Bryson, I know how uh, much confidence you guys have that there's been improvement from week two to now. When those Run plays were adding up and the scores were going up. Just what was it like to then be in the sideline and be with the guys on the defense trying to get it figured out? I'm sure there was some confusion going on. Yeah, I mean, it was tough. It was tough. Um, really need to make some, like, you know, every time we come out of the half, had a plan, going to go down and score, you know, went three and out, had to stop the run, felt like we made a correction at halftime, came out and stopped the run, hit some big plays on us, which is just, Disappointing. I mean, just really, just, just. I felt like the corrections were made. You know, I felt like the coaches, and I felt like you know, it's not like we got down on ourselves. You know, or fighting, arguing with each other. Just didn't, just didn't get it done. Just didn't execute. Uh, right next door, uh, Nathan Barrett, Cleveland.com. Right, so many games this season, even some of the closer games recently, you guys were really in control the whole game. With that sequence you're talking about, where offense went three and out, and they can down score, start the second half. They were really kind of in control from that point on. What was it? Did it feel different in that second half today, trying to play from that perspective? I mean, a little different, but you know, the offense. I mean, our offense. You know what they've done all year. You know, we had confidence that you know they're going to get the ball even after that three and out. We just had to get our stops. We couldn't get our stops. You know, we just couldn't get our stops. Ridiculous. Anything else? Any other question? Front row there, Tino Movenzi, Spectrum One. Last question. It sounds like you really think you guys beat yourself. Today. Do you think that that's the case, or do you tip your hat to the Wolverines for playing a good game? I mean, I have you know, respect to them, you know, credit to them. They, they came with a good plan. They executed their plan. I mean, we did not – we played far from our best game. You know, I give them their credit. I do, but, you know, we didn't, we, we didn't execute, you know, all the times we were flat out there, you know, just, just, just bad. Just, you know, it's going to really, you know, fuel us. I know that. It's going to light an extreme fire. You know, when you, when you work so hard for this, you know, you know this moment, you come out and come out flat and don't get it done, you know, it's, it's hard. It, it hurts, you know. And I know the guys we have, you know, we have tough, hard work, and this team's got full of tough, hard work dudes. You know, it sucks and it's the worst thing ever, but, you know, we're going to learn from it this offseason. We're going to attack it, you know, with fire. I'm talking with, with true passion. We'll be back. We'll be counting down the days to this game again next year, and we'll be ready. Bryson, thank you.